Right, watch out, welcome back. Um, it's time we revisited our friends at Tech Bike Parts. Hands up at the back, who remembers Tech Bike Parts? Welcome back to the Boys Garage. <laughs> Okay, what this is today, headlight brackets. What we definitely look at is this. Now we put these rather delicious Motown headlight brackets on the Bonneville and the Scrambler. These are absolutely lovely. These came from Motown. Our friends at Motown supplied those and they came in at 89.99. So they're 90 pounds almost for a pair of these. Now they are machined from a solid block of T6 aluminium. So they're very, very strong, very sexy and rather exotic in this the sort of thing that you should be putting on your bike. You should always put an item on your bike that is better, if not as good as, but better than the factory parts. And it ain't hard, is it? Because the factory parts on this are made out of pressed tin takeaway curry pots, I think, aren't they? I think so. And that makes a definite upgrade. But honestly, this is not a KTM Super Duke. This is not an MV Augusta. It's a Triumph Bonneville. So actually, they are way, way, way better than the rest of the components on the bike. We've kind of gone a little bit trainers on your granny with that, and I love them to bits. I wouldn't change them, but however, I have a kid brother who lives in Australia. He is a paramedic, a hard-working paramedic in Queensland. So hello Lee, if you're watching, it's good to see you mate. Now if, he's just bought himself his first bike in Australia. He moved there some years ago and he's been saving up, working hard. He's just got himself a Triumph Bonneville and he wants to do some mods to it. Now as a little thing, I just bought him something that he can put on his bike because it is, this kind of thing is the upgrade he wants to make, but 90 pounds for a pair of bullet headlight brackets not really the way to go for him, it's not, he hasn't got the money. So we thought we'd treat him to these, don't we, Pam? Yep, present. Um, what we have, these are from Tech Bike Parts. They are headlight brackets, aluminium, all the same, and that be they. Now they are cast. So let me show you against these. These are the Motone ones, and these are the Tech ones. So they do the exact same job. They are the exact same size they fit in the exact same way. You take the top gear off, you slide them on, bolt them in place, and so on. So they're exactly the same format as, uh, they're exactly the same for, <laughs> no, we're not gonna cut that one. No. They're exactly the same format as the other ones, um, but they're a lot cheaper, this is the point. And if you just check out the catalog, this is the price tag. Now rather than 90 pounds, 89.99 for billet, what we've got is this. On the Tech Bike Parts catalog, they're 24.99 in alloy or black. So they come in all silver alloy or anodized black, 24.99. Now, the principle here is, I use, if you don't know, you might ask yourself, how can that be a third, if not a quarter almost, of the price of the billet item? Well, quite simply, a lot of people don't quite understand the difference between billet and cast. And I know that the majority of you will, but let me just briefly explain it if I can. A billet part of anything is simply a chunk of solid um, forged aluminium. You go to a foundry, a big factory, a big, foundry that makes it pours massive great slabs of aluminium while they're red white hot it rolls them out into long square chunks called billets and they come out of the of the building oh, actually it's quite handy they come out of the building like that so you'll buy these billets they're lumps like a house brick of solid aluminium now where they've been extruded which means they've been pressed and stretched they have a grain in them, a little bit like wood sort of thing, and that makes them extremely strong. They're also very pure. They're a very pure form of aluminium, and they're very, very robust. You can almost hit that sort of stuff with a hammer and it doesn't dent. It's also um, tensile in the sense that if you, if you had a billet lever and you drop it, the ball on the end doesn't just snap straight off. They, they are very, very strong indeed, and they have an ability to absorb impact without breaking. We make billet parts for kinds of things, but they're very wasteful because they take a big chunk of the metal like that, they put it in a computerized machine and then they set this cutter rolling and it cuts out the part, creating garbage bags full of, of swarf, kind of little coily shavings. Literally massive sacks of swarf come away and that's very, very wasteful indeed. If you're into your carbon footprint, it's not the right way to make things. It is for extreme performance parts and that's quite honestly what these are. They're performance parts in that sense. They're the sort of thing you might put on a race bike. They weigh absolutely nothing, but they're extremely strong. But the cast part, well, we all know how casting's done, don't we? It's very easy. You take a big old collection of aluminium, you pour it into a smelter, you turn it into a liquid, and you pour it into a mold. So you only use the precise amount. Now, the way we can see that these are cast, if we look in the back, we see these little marks here, these little tiny two dots. That's where 
you would have had two points. It would have been in a mould like that, the liquid's poured in, it goes hard, the mould is broken away and you get two kind of spikes sticking up where it filled up to the top of the mould, they get broken off and then that's the part, it then gets polished uh, and then finished and anodized, and there's the part. Now its downside is that it's brittle. It is sometimes, if you hit it, it shears and cracks, but not so much that it's dangerous. That is a perfectly robust part, and let's face it, the casings on your engine, all these, they're all cast. Most of the aluminum parts on your bike are cast. Even the wheel hubs, that sort of thing, are cast. On these wheels, these fab wheels we had made, they've got the talon hubs, talon hubs, are machine from Billet. They take a big block of aluminum and they machine out the hub. That's why they're very expensive. But the original factory cast hubs, they're not so expensive. They're a lot heavier and they're not so robust. So that's why they're 25 pounds. They're cast, not machined from a solid lump. That makes them a lot cheaper. Just a quick note, when you see parts from China that look like they're Billet, that look like they're machined, they have a cheeky trick. What they do is they cast a part like that and then they just machine the outside of that part to make it look like Billet. And that's why they're sort of five or six pounds for a pair of brake levers, not a hundred pounds for a pair of brake levers. And these people who say, oh, they're great, they're billet as well, <laughs> till you drop it, <laughs> snap. So there we are. I just wanted to extol the virtues of this and come back to tech. We've got a little box of bits and pieces that uh, we're gonna be fitting to the bike over time. We've got a fabulous exhaust from tech, which is going on this bike. We're gonna take away the standard scrambler exhaust shortly. A few other little bits and pieces as well. But for now, I just wanted to show you, there's a great option if you don't have 90 pounds almost for a pair of Motone, fantastic Motone billet ha uh, headlight brackets, and you can't afford that, or you don't want to spend that much on your bike, you think it's overkill, there's a cheaper option for you from Tech, 24.99, not by any means near the same quality, and Tech themselves will admit that, but then again, there's the price, and this is the point I said about trainers on your granny. These are more than up to the standard of the rest of your bike, more than adequate for the job, and these, I'm gonna do my zip up. <laughs> And these are going in a box to my kid brother in Australia. So there we are, mate. These will go in. We'll get them in the post to you tomorrow. Anything else, Pam? That's it. Early Christmas present, Lee. Early Christmas present. Don't say that. I'd expect more now. <laughs> so we are. Thanks for watching, folks. That's all it's about. More videos on tech stuff to come. Some of the most interesting bits and pieces, including a steering damper. But that's for next time. Take easy ride safe. See you next time. Right, welcome back. How are you? Um, hands up at the back who remembers Tech Bike Parts. Remember those from a little while ago? Well, it's about time we revisit. Re re <laughs> <You should, laughs> uh. Right, welcome back. Uh, hands up at the back who remembers Tech Bike Parts. We thought it was time again we revisit. Re re <laughs> Can we write a different word in there? You've been on the gym? Yeah, something like that. Uh. Stop, stop.